My name is Yulia Stepanova. Uh, I am a track and field athlete from Russia. When I was 20 years old, I was uh, sick and I spent three months in hospital. And I wanted to continue to run, but uh, doctor said uh, it's better for me to stop running because uh, my body needs to have power to kind of fight with this sickness. But I wanted to continue to run <laughs> because I, I like it. And my coach asked my doctor about using some prohibited substances. And doctor said, yes, probably it, it should help. And I just was learning from other athletes, from uh, from my coach and they was talking about doping like it's like a normal way to prepare it's like vitamins for athletes and they like explained me all adults uh, athletes they use it like we cannot run without this and after that my coach decided to started giving me prohibited substances he told me he when he was athlete he was in UCCR national team and they used uh, strongly prohibited substances than we use now and he told me look at me I'm still alive I am 50 something years old and I'm I'm still alive I can uh, still do some exercise I am in good shape but I used uh, more strong prohibited than you do it now like nothing happened with you don't be scared Start, it was 2007, a winter season, and he gave me a testosterone injection. It was one ampoule, two milliliters, and he divided it on seven parts. And uh, he injected me uh, day after day during two weeks. After testosterone injection, I feel like my muscles grow faster. Yeah, I feel like I'm bigger <laughs> and my result in that season was two minutes three seconds 74. my coach he he really didn't know how to correct use prohibited substances and when he gave me anabolic pills i feel like my muscles was very stiff very tight and it's i i kind of cannot run also when he gave me a, EPO injections. Uh, he, uh, the same time, he gave me uh, iron injections, and my blood was very thick, and I also cannot move my legs. I just, when I was racing, like after one lap, I just started slow down because my blood was thick and it cannot circulate very well in my body. When in the Russian team, they started oftenly uh, check my blood. And I saw my ferritin level in 20 times more than it should be. Nobody was scared about this. It was like, okay. But I, I was questioning um, some doctors, what, what is it, why, why it's so big and what I can do? Most recommendation I, I, I had uh, when I was in Germany with German coaches, they also checked my blood and they were, were very surprised about my ferritin level and they, they were worried about my ferritin level. And they was consulting with doctors what, what to do. And doctor said, during my training, it's kind of helped me to use this extra ferritin from my body. But when I stop, I should find a solution for this problem or I could die from iron poisoning. It was in 2012 years and it was one accident. I was injured and my coach offered me to do some infusions with uh, creatinine phosphate and mitochalm and I did it and a few seconds after when it was done, 
my heart started to beat rapidly and I was scared that I, I can die. And after that, I was questioning. And that moment when it happened, I was just kind of lay down and just told myself, if I will be alive, I will never again just put any needles on my body, just take anything in my body because I don't want to die. And after that, when I was scared that I can die from these drugs, I was questioning myself, do I want to use anymore? Do, do I need it? Do I really, do, do it's really like I want it? What I wanted, and I just understand, like, I, I won't just run because I like it and I don't need medals. When I was banned, it was like last throw. And after that, I decided, okay, I need to do something right now. And I need not listen anymore people around me and just don't believe them because they, they lie to me. I believe them and they, they, don't, they don't care about me. They don't care about my health. I have like 20 times more, more ferritin and they don't care. They care only about results, about money and about medals. I can say if you if you cheat you would never be a real champion because this all all your life very deep inside of you you will be feeling like you're a cheater not a real champion <laughs>